Just get right at it. It's uh, Monday, the 18th. Uh, noted the uh, date and time change uh, for our meeting. Uh, but with that, we have an agenda in the minutes of the past two meetings to approve before we start. Mr. Chairman, at this time, I'd move to approve the agenda in the minutes of the meetings of the 11th and 12th of July. Second. It's been motion and second to approve the agenda in the minutes of uh, July 11th and 12th. All in favor? Aye. 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 Old business? I have none. Okay. Amen. New business or county engineer's report? Well, uh, what's hot weather do to roads? It did make them blow up. It can. It can? Yes. Good. Um, the maintenance guys are out blighting and hauling rock and hauling and okay. some of those normal maintenance routine items. Um, S14, they are taking the bottom lift today and hopefully finish the surface um, this week or the beginning of next. And um, the bridge by Doherty is moving along quickly. Mm -hmm. They're working on that uh, south of here. They got the north of here port and the south of here. Well, the north here's been done. They've got the north of Bowman port and they're working on the south of here and the south of Bowman. Contractor and the subcontractor are trying to work out some agreements and arrangements for uh, that project to get some stuff done. Okay. Any questions or anything come up since the last we met with Mary? Anything? I can't think of anything. We're July doldrums as far as the engineer's office is concerned. July heat. <laughs> yeah, that too. That's all I have. Okay. Do you guys have any other questions? Not at this time, I don't. I don't do either. All right, All right. thank, thank you. you. Thank you, Mary. You got it. Okay. Well, we'll be moving on to the uh, county auditor's line items. The first one is claims. All right, we have those here, and they're all in order. Okay. Sure. Gentlemen, if you see fit. At this time, I'll make a motion to uh, <coughs> locate the claims and have you sign where appropriate. Okay. Second. There's a motion and a second to authorize the uh, chairman to sign the claims presented this morning. All in favor? Aye. 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 Payroll. I have none. Okay, no payroll. In drainage? I do have a drainage uh, bill here. It's a joint district with uh, Sarah Gordo and Franklin. And Franklin County is the control county. We okay. just need authorization for payment to, let's see, Johnson and Sons Tiling for $665. Okay. The it's joint, it's uh, drainage district 77 and 1 okay. in Franklin County. Okay. Um, the bill for our share is uh, $665. At this time, I'll make a motion to uh, take care of this bill with uh, Franklin County. Okay, second. All right, so motion and second to approve a joint drainage district bill of $665 with uh, drainage district 77. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Moving along, uh, I don't see any, uh, well, further on down, we have some sheriff's items. I guess I've seen that. I don't see anyone here to represent them, but we've been through these. But the first one is uh, Daymark Solutions. No. Um, it looks like it's a service agreement for software. Okay. So. We'll uh, take these one at a time. Motion made to uh, approve and authorize the chair signature. Okay. Second. It's been uh, motion and second to authorize the chair to sign the service agreement with Day Mark Solutions. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, I think number two and three can be uh, co mingled here. This is to authorize the chair to sign an equitable sharing agreement and cert certification for the North Central Iowa Narcotics Task Force. And then the second one is to sign an equitable sharing agreement and certification for the Saratoga County Sheriff's Office. So with that. Um, we are existing participants in this. They do this every year. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, Kevin is even the head of that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, since the uh, Forest City guy. 
I'll, uh, I'll make a motion to upgrade the chair to the same uh, item C2 and C3. Okay. We have a motion. Okay. I'll second that. All right, it's been motion and second to uh, sign the agreements uh, concerning the uh, sheriff's department. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, we have agreements and contracts. The uh, first one here, or the only one here, is to authorize the chair to sign a fiscal agreement between Cerro Gordo, Hancock, Worth, Empowerment Area for Cerro Gordo County and Cody. I assume you have a little background. This is just our annual fiscal agreement um, for the state to pay you as the fiscal agent of the county mm -hmm. in order for us, the board, to hold the funds and to pay out to programs. So um, it's just a yearly just agreement that you hold the funds and the interest bearing accounts okay. and um, be fiscally responsible. So, okay. uh, I sit on that board and I mm -hmm. think that's, you know, uh, we became a fiscal agent here a few years ago. And, Worked real well, and uh, Cody does a nice job of keeping every everything in the right in the right uh, what do they call it silos. Yeah, uh, the right silos, which which used to be kind of hard for us to do. And they would always talk about encumbered funds, encumbered. Side now silos. Now we've silos. encumbered those funds in yeah. the silo. Okay, that's certainly your motion. Okay. okay, and you don't have too much dialogue in the no, I don't. Okay. Well, with that, we'll be moving along. We've got a motion and a second to authorize the chairs to sign this fiscal agent agreement. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, appointments. I have none. I have none. Okay. I have none. Correspondence and communication. This is a presentation on the beach cleaning equipment by the Association for the Preservation of Clear Lake. And you have the floor, sir. Thank and you. Would you take a moment to introduce yourself? This is. I'll, I'll okay. introduce. Okay. <laughs> this, is, this is Terry Un, uh, Unsworth, and he's the uh, president of the Preservation of Clear Lake. Oh. And Terry, I'll turn it over to you. Thanks, Thanks very much. Thanks for your time this morning. Yes. Uh, well, I started with, with the association beginning this year. We kind of thought we would concentrate on the bacterial loading element mm -hmm. of the lake. Well, you know, water quality is a combination of different factors. Clarity is very important, mm -hmm. but the bacterial element is kind of like the unseen enemy. You know, it's one of the people don't see, that's the thing that closes the beaches. It just gives you the bad PR and stuff like that. It happens as a result. So as part of the initiative, we started on a two-prong approach. One was to work with, actually, with the uh, Cerro Gordo County uh, um, Department of Public Health to put together a septic, in, septic system and incentive program. So we've got that running now. The second thing was to, to look at the beaches to see if we could do a better job of managing the bacteria that's inherent in the beaches. It's in several different forms, but there's the organic material on the beaches. There's the droppings you get from the geese who take up residence there. There's a bacterial element actually below the surface of the, uh, the sand itself. Naturally occurring. Oh, naturally occurring there for a long time. So that led us to make a decision to buy a beach cleaning piece of equipment like this. Uh, this is made in, actually made in um, Minnesota. Uh, it actually scoops the sand like this. It takes it under the ground like this, up to four inches deep. It runs up a conveyor belt. And all, all the bad stuff sifts through okay. and ends up in this bucket back here. Okay. Has four different screens. You start off with like a three three quarter inch, you work your way down to like a five sixteenths. Okay. So, so, oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, so it, it as you go like along. Grab, yeah. yeah, it is. Um, this is an example uh, of a before and after. This truly is how the Lake uh, Beach looks now. Mm -hmm. They do it once a week, and it looks like this you know, for all the trips get back on. But, um, and we've done it a number of times on the state park. And it's someplace in between us. Um, we've got to go to Macintosh. Our plan was to be there last week. Yes. Yeah. But we got kind of got brained out. So, so, sure. Well, with that, it's I take it it's just towed by a conventional tractor. It is. Well, is it, uh, how is it? PTO operator motor or is it gravity? No, it's hydraulic PTO. Oh, okay. And it's all thing like that. Oh. So, there are a lot of on, on, on moving parts of the so it really don't work out. I imagine you unearth a number of interesting artifacts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We do. Especially when you just get started, you do. Um, so, so that's kind of our, yeah. our proposition to you today. Uh, we have received some funding on this. The purchase price is $22,700. We have a $5,000 donation from the uh, Clear Lake Chamber, $1,000 for private funds. The city of Clear Lake has agreed to do maintenance on it for five years. We're, we're donating this to the DNR. 
Sure. So they're, they're going to house it and use it. Use it. But city has unlimited usage of it at the same time. Okay. So, um, so I guess that's that. Well, I wanted to do a 45-minute yes. presentation. Yeah, so yeah. I yeah. Well, this is just about the same thing. thing isn't yeah. It? yeah. <laughs> this is right on schedule. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you said no more than five minutes. I saw them yesterday. Um, so that's kind of our, our pitch. You know, we, were, we were partners when we did you know, dredging. We partnered with you know, all the other groups. I do plan to go before the city of Venture mm -hmm. and ask them for their participation on this too. It's a little unusual to ask for something after you've already bought something. I realize that. Mm -hmm. But we didn't want to miss the summer. We wanted to get this thing in place and then seek you know, participation after that. So uh, that's the reason for this some, somewhat unusual yes. circumstance of being here now. Well, Terry, I do think it really fits in quite well with uh, all the efforts being made, as you already mentioned, is to uh, beautify the lake and, and make it cleaner. I mean, this is just another part of it. And I know that the, the engineer was here. She mentioned the fact that we have uh, those uh, rain gardens over there. And, yes. And Filtration boxes. boxes. Yes. Right. And, uh, and that's done a lot of good, too. So along with the dredging and you know, the overall efforts of, of everybody concerned with the preservation of the lake, you know, I think it's a, it's a real good thing. And, and I think it's helping, I must tell you. We, we got some of our, we do uh, weekly readings right. on, 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 on bacterial components within the lake. And they were so low last week, I thought there was, they were probably in error. Mm -hmm. They've never been that low. And they come back up again. But was, no. uh, something's helping. Yeah, uh, it's, it's, it's nice to have that, though. It's, that's an enhancement. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yes, very much. So. Well, okay. thank you for the presentation. Thanks very much. And uh, Bob, you know, uh, okay. a couple of weeks ago, I was in I was in a coffee shop, and there was two guys sitting there, and he says, "You know what? The vision has improved so much over in Darling." And they said, "Mostly because of the water clarity, they think." And he says, "We're not catching any big ones because the walleyes are like 12, 13 inches." But they said, "In a year or so, they should be back to where they were here a few years back." And uh, you know, we've had such a good report with the preservation and the cities, so the two cities over there. Uh, I did a little check and then and, uh, I think we ought to give them $2,000 uh, towards this, uh, take it out of the uh, rural community betterment. I talked to Heather the other day and he had the money, so I would make a motion that we give uh, $2,000 for this piece of equipment. Okay. No, I, I'd second. I, I, I think that's real appropriate given the fact that, you know, we have uh, probably jurisdiction over 50% of the, mm -hmm. yeah. the lake shore itself sits in the county. So I think, you know, uh, part of our <coughs> responsibility and, and obligation to, uh, to try and preserve the lake and use the resources really valuable for everybody in this, in this uh, county is to uh, provide them with the tools to do the job. So, yeah, I, I would second that. Okay. Uh, we have a motion and a second. Uh, to approve two thousand dollars with the uh, this uh, beach cleaning equipment, uh, but I may say a couple words before I call for the vote. Is uh, not so much specifically about that, but the nimbleness of how local government can work through municipality and at the county level. I mean, you said uh, <coughs> this was imperative that you'd buy it this year. You know, something we'll, we'll talk to the thing, and then next spring it would appear that happens so often. And, uh, you know, I mean, you, you don't wait around and buy a fire truck, you know, but I uh, just appreciate that fact that they could act on it and they know there's a provision that we can follow up on this. So. But anyway, with that, all in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Uh, any other discussion or interest, questions, or the concern of the board here or the county? I don't have any. Okay. No, sir. All right. Well, with that, I'll call for adjournment. So moved. All sir. right. We have a motion and a second for adjournment. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Thank you.